Hello Taurus, welcome back to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now we have Springfield, Massachusetts artist Boss Dawn. You wanna hit the description box below, you're gonna find a link there that's gonna take you to Boss Dawn's music page. Share, comment, and subscribe. Boss Dawn's album is scheduled to be released on November 21st. All right, so let's take a look at what Taurus needs to know. Spirit, please talk to me about Taurus. What do you need Taurus to know? So the good part is that you are coming out of something that has been very difficult for you. All right, so now it's time for the new beginning. This negative cycle is ending. You're closing out some chapter of your life, all right? Could have something to do with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Perhaps there's an air sign that's been assisting you in that process. Tell me more. What else do we need to know? Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Earth sign. We have the Lover's card with Gemini coming out here. You've been going back and forth about whether someone is into you or if you should move towards this person. I feel that if you're wondering if someone thinks about you, they are watching you, I feel, from a distance, okay? With the Two of Wands energy, there's probably another option that they could be dealing with. We have the Nine of Cups. This person is facing Pisces energy. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone thinks that you don't want to talk to them is what I'm getting here or that you're not going to be interested. We have the Ace of Wands. Someone's interested in you, but you're not interested in them. That's what it seems like here or that's what they think. Tell me more. We have the Ace of Swords, the King of Wands. There's a conversation you're going to be having with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, whether it be a friend of yours, a co-worker. Something has definitely wrapped up. There's a cycle that is ending for you. So something that was traumatizing, tumultuous, hard to deal with, that is starting to dissipate is what I'm getting here as new opportunity is emerging and a lot of that has to do with your creative flow a lot of you guys are into the arts please continue to pursue that i don't know if you act i don't know if you dance sing rap there's something about your voice your rhetoric the way that you speak your poetry the way that you write all right the Empress in the upright with the Ace of Pentacles. You don't have to worry about money at all, Taurus, all right? That's coming to you. We have the Emperor Aries energy with a past connection. There's somebody that's still loyal to you. Could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This could be an ancestor, someone who passed away. We have the Seven of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is going to fight for the connection here. Someone wants to fight for you, all right? Energetically, you probably feel this person fighting for you. We have the Hierophant coming out here. That's your major arcana. Why do we have the Hierophant? We have the Knight of Wands headed towards the Hierophant Taurus. That could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that is on their way to you. We have this person getting ready to take a risk. They just don't care anymore. They don't care what other people think, and they don't want to be held back. And they're going to make their move on Taurus. That's what I'm getting here. We have the Sun card. This is going to make you very happy. All right, tell me more. Victory for Taurus with the Six of Wands energy. Capricorn is showing up here. Are you guys dealing with a Capricorn? Unfortunately, the Capricorn is going to be left out in the cold. All right, we have the moon card. This is something that they don't want to talk to a lot of people about. If you know a Capricorn, they're going through it right now, all right? 
We have this Six of Pentacles, balance for Taurus, increase of money coming for Taurus, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, a lot of business prospects are coming out of reunions, networking, coming together with other people. The King of Pentacles, even more money for Taurus. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so... There's definitely a couple coming back together here. There's business partners collaborating. There's more money than there's ever been. Okay? Someone's like signing up for community college or some type of university. We have this King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces is looking at this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The water sign doesn't want you to be upset. They they want you to get along with somebody. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person does not want to wait anymore. They are very impatient. Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're tired of being quiet with Virgo energy. The Queen of Cups. Coming out here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the desire to reunite, to come together, to celebrate, to party. That's going to make you very happy. There's something that is really fulfilling you, especially this weekend. You thought that you didn't have the strength and all of a sudden you become inspired by a group of people that are helping to push you forward. This sounds good. I really like this. Ten of Pentacles. More money. How much money? Look at you. Are you saving? You're encouraged to definitely save. Okay, I think that that's just... Or you're investing in some business that is really going to work out to your benefit. The Page of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Cups coming out here. Popularity. People are starting to notice you. Temperance. In reverse, all right? Spiritually, you're feeling somebody's energy. Pray for that person. Whoever it is that you keep feeling around you, they're there. But they're not doing so well because I have the Four of Cups. The temperance is in reverse. So there's imbalance with this person, okay? Conflict. They're having trouble being happy. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And then we have this Page of Swords energy. Yeah. You know, I feel, Taurus, that all you have to do is stay in your place. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, you're meeting up with a group of people that contribute to your success. Whomever that group is, we've been getting that group a lot, okay? And I have the Three of Pentacles. There's a gathering, a coming together, a lot of money, a lot of uh, future success. You have this Knight of Pentacles, this Page of Wands. These people are coming towards you, okay? Expect it. You're getting there. It's like you're waiting. You're waiting for this to happen. All of this anxiety around something that you know is coming, but you can't quite put your finger on it. It's very exciting though. So you should be very excited for what awaits you. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I wanna thank you so much for watching. To book a private session, all that info is below. Take care.